I just got a text from an unknown number. Final one hour left to activate your 90% off custom animated video deal. Nice. What the fuck? Click here, sharkstudios.us to activate now and grow your sales 10,000%. Do not click mm. that button. No, do click that. Your 1, phone's thousand percent. I'm just gonna send him a dick pic. Do <laughs> do it. It. Text him back a dick pic. You should. That's like awesome. from the dark side of the balls. No, do that's do that is the it. weirdest. Yeah, that is the Don't weirdest text I've shit. ever. Got. I'm not. I'm deleting yeah, it. Right your now. phone will explode. Mm -hmm. Go go right. gadget style. So today we have our friend Dylan Eubanks. We're gonna get these ads out of the way so we can get right to the show. It was a really good one. We're actually recording this intro right when we hit stop. Advertisements. <laughs> so we're we're coming in super hot. Yeah, dude. Boyspodcast.com, hub of all things boys. Got Facebook, Instagram links, Twitter, SoundCloud link, probably. I don't know. But yeah, no. boys podcast. No. No. No, there are. They're okay. all over the They're place. They're all over the place. Check it out. Boyspodcast.com. Boys podcast is available on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud. Please rate, review. And most importantly, subscribe if you like what you're hearing. It means the world to us. Tell a friend, too. You can email us at boys at boyspodcast.com. We, uh, we've been getting a lot of feedback. We're enjoying that feedback. And if you haven't heard, if you give us any kind of feedback, we'll send you out a free sticker and a button pack, something like that. Just make sure to put your physical address in the bottom of the email and mm -hmm. we'll send you out a little care send package little... as our way of saying thank you mm -hmm. for the feedback. Thanks for listening. While supplies last, by the way. Yeah, might be running short on that. Thank you so much to our sponsors, Anthem Brewing. It's a great beer to sip when you're playing D&D. &D. True. You know I've what? done it many times. Yeah, same. It, it's also, if you've been outside lately, the weather's fucking fantastic. It's a good time. Just go to the liquor store, grab you a pack of Anthems, sit on your back porch, enjoy the day. Also, Fat Bison, our buddy Matt Street makes these beautiful hand-carved wooden signs like you can see right here. Mm -hmm. I'm staring directly at this beautiful 13 by 13 piece of honey locust wood inscribed with the boy's logo, lacquered, shellacked, ready to hang. Spacklefatbison.com. Yes. It looks real good. Hold it. Pick it up. Feel the heft. It's got heft to it. It's got some fucking heft oh, to it. Damn, dude. That's, that's a, a high quality item. That's... Turn it around. Turn around. You see a little hook there you can hang your shit on? Got the keyhole. Wow. It's that that's not just a cheap piece of brass. That's actually drilled into the back where you can hang it flush against the wall. And, it's a beautiful piece. And and what is this? He what? makes signs. They're just they're just signs. He makes all kinds of things. He makes furniture, makes beautiful well, art. If you're curious, you can go to fatbison.com. Fatbison.com? Mm -hmm. Fatbison.com. Wow. Last but not least, OKC Comedy. OKCComedy.com. Friday, October 27th, they're bringing in Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Nice. And it's going to be an awesome show. Who is? He doesn't do that. He goes, oh! He's got the power. And he's got the log. Yeah, or the stick. <laughs> Wait, no, the, the, the two log by four. Stick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus. He had the two by four, and now he's got a show here. And okay, see. Lastly, thank you for the donations, the tweets, the comments. We are at 11,000. What? I don't know. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I was going like, no, 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 let me say it. 11,000 dick pics. That's what I was going to say. 11,000 dick pics to boys at boyspodcast.com. Wow. I'm sorry. I it no, it's fine. Did I, did I edge you? <laughs> you edged me right over the line. I put this on the list. We just hit a pretty good milestone. Yeah. 11,000 downloads. That's a lot. That's, it may, <clears throat> I saw it. I, I stumbled upon a part of the back end of the website that I've never been to before. Yeah. And I saw our download count. You rubbed, you rubbed the... Uh, I the did. butthole of the page. Yeah, I just went around the rim. Yeah. Didn't go in yet. 11,000 downloads. That's awesome. I was like, man, that made me feel so good. Thank you, guys. Yes. Thank you so, yeah. so much. Um, you know, any any feedback, any tweets, donations through our website, whatever, is greatly appreciated. And we're going to keep doing what we're doing. Yeah. It's been you keep so telling fun your so friends far. about it. Yes. We've been getting a lot of new listeners. I really dig that. It's, it's much, much appreciated. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to quit fucking around and get right to the episode. Episode 71. 71. With Dylan Eubanks. Welcome to Boys Episode 71. Welcome to the jungle. We got skunk and babes. Skunk and babes. Dude, that's the most white trash slash amazing <laughs> Wait, take on those lyrics. Skunk oh. meaning like skunkage. Like, like weed. Yeah, and babes. Meaning like big blonde. Big haired. Big blondes? No. <laughs> big blonde haired bitches. That's what I was trying to say. Ladies. Big Women, blonde haired ladies. ladies. Yeah. Women. They're just as good. You know what? Nothing really gets me off like a sexy lady. 
<laughs> oh, be right back. <laughs> we just started. You just came from the bathroom. You're I'm gonna go in back hot. in there. Yeah, do I, some work. And I was come doing. Back. A little, I was getting prepared. I was doing a little rubbing and touching. Oh, I'll be okay. fluffing, if you will. <laughs> yes, I was Gosh. fluffing myself for the like, podcast. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm sitting across from. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a podcast and taking dick pics. Yes. Uh, yeah. I'm wearing my short. My my. These are. I call these my trademark shorts. Okay. I wear them all TMs. the time. Yeah. And uh, I, I, since I'm sitting across from you guys, now I'm, now I'm all self-conscious. I'm going to put like a pillow just in my put, lap. It's like your balls are on each side of this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm riding the wire. Oh, riding the wire. God. <laughs> That's the worst. Oh, I'm well, welcome ac- to I'm Boy's sitting Park across. Park. Yeah. Well, let me, let me finish yeah, here. Finish. God damn can, it. Can I finish? Can, I can't finish? <laughs> can't finish? Can't finish? Can I? Real quick. <laughs> I'm going to let you finish. But mm-hmm. oh. that intro was seamless. You went from like talking and then like record into intro. It was... I would say it's like you've done 70 episodes of this. Yeah. At least. At least 70, <laughs> I would say. This is your, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here, Dylan. No Dylan problem. Eubanks. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we'll get into where you came from, what you're doing, and, you know, just sit tight, okay? Uh, yeah, you know? Hold your fucking no, horses. No, he's sitting tight. You're sitting tight. You're, you're like kicked back in the guest chair, which yeah. is a beautiful... Uh, what's the uh, what's the classic painting Venus de Milo? That's a <sighs> that's what you look like right it now. It looks like that's there should cool. be one of the remember those me, remember what are those wicker <laughs> those giant wicker chairs that have the fucking like the basket oh, chairs? Yes, yeah. I love those. Yeah, I get made fun of for loving those. If you just drive down my street, you'll see like three on the curb. Dude, oh, just snake one. one. That's gonna snake one. Yeah. Did you ever have one of those? Um, no. Now, you know, we're talking about like, are you talking about the ones that it's like the bowl that you can actually move the bowl around in the base? I, okay. I fucking love those. Yeah. It's, it's like a part of a story, I guess. It's a giant dog bed for humans. Yeah. No, 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 for sure. That is exactly what it is. And that's going to make me sound even worse. So, um, uh, this girl who I'm dating now, like when I was just like friends with her, they had one of these things, right? It was like her and her roommate. And it was huge. It was massive. And it was in the corner and like no one fucked with it. Like nobody did. And like decor. Yeah. So it never was sat in. Oh, it was <laughs> by me. And, and and she was just like, you know, you don't want to sit in that because it's kind of fucked up and it could like break at any point. And I was just like, you know what? I'm a risk it. So I think I, I have a feeling <clears throat> why it's in the corner. Continue. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I would like that was like my go to chair it was so stupid. And so, like, one night, it was, we were having a party over there. Like, that's what happened every weekend. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to sleep on the floor. I'm going to sleep in this chair. Woke up to a broke-ass wicker chair, and I'm just, like, on the ground, and it's just toppled over and I just turtled, dude. Like, here, like, <laughs> I, I can just imagine. <laughs> so, like, literally, it's on, yeah, on top of you. Like, I, I, like, but the thing is, like, I woke up as I was just like, Whoa, and then, like, <laughs> fell. And I just had to, like, you know, uh, like unearth myself out of this thing and i was yeah. just like oh, yeah You're just like is... a turtle coming out to me show <laughs> you know what i'm saying I, i've been holding on to that for like 60 episodes oh man well uh, you're, there you go thank you is that yeah. shaggy yeah. yes okay because it was a really good shaggy impression put that on your <laughs> list of impressions i will you i will do a really good shaggy i'm gonna have to turn the page and get another list turn going, the think. page but not not <laughs> but you don't do your typical it wasn't me shaggy you do one. That's a that's a deep cut. That, that is a deep cut. I was keeping it turtle centric. Okay. Like I had to. It was a callback. I think it was in the corner because it was broken, and they could put it against the corner to make it look like it's not broken. That's ex- that is one hundred percent correct. Yeah. That is why it was there. <laughs> okay, so that brings me to the question. Uh huh. It's on everybody's minds. Uh-huh. Is it? Have you ever propped furniture? Oh yeah. Have you ever propped furniture <laughs> to save it from like because you needed a bookshelf, but you had to put one side yeah. against the oh, wall. Oh no, no, it's, it's always those cheap shitty ones you get at Walmart that don't have a back, but you can nail that cardboard thing oh, to the back of God. it. It folds. Who is that fooling? I nobody. Nobody. It looks real. It nice. has the perforated thing for like cords to go through. Yeah, mm-hmm. like that ain't fooling nobody. But, but those it, little nails. But nope. you never. You don't. It's never strong enough. No matter how much you tighten the thing, so it still kind of wobbles. Like, oh uh, yeah, dude. I okay. So you sit I, in the corner, so it yeah. braces it. I had one of those and I was moving and I was like, I'm not going to take this shit. And like everything that was on it was like, eh, I don't really, I don't care. Mm-hmm. So I just pushed it over. <laughs> like, just like let it break. Yeah. yeah. It just like, and just broke. And I just pulled the things out of the rubble that I needed 
put in a box. <laughs> I just imagine that little guy coming through with a push broom and like cleaning yeah. up afterwards. Yeah, it was uh, exactly like that. I've done it with like TV stands. Mm -hmm. Like you get you get your classic. I mean, that's a beautiful mid century that's a good one. piece. That is, oh, that is, which actually that is real good. available from uh, Monoxide, our friends at Monoxide. Oh, it's going to wow. be in the booth soon. Anyways, yeah, I've had the cheap TV stand with like the sliding like doors, mm -hmm. you know, Great and those movie. would break. Those would like break every time. Oh, those are the worst. The yeah. slide, or the ones that you they put the click, click and it clicks the clicking ones. Shitty. Yeah. Another thing I never understood Dude. was the was the bookshelf. Mm -hmm. Like you'll get an IKEA bookshelf or whatever, yeah. and it comes with the little um, piece of scout belt that you're supposed to drill to the wall. Have yeah. you ever seen yeah. that? Like the mm -hmm. little L-shaped piece of like canvas or whatever. Yeah, it yeah. holds it to the wall. I guess if we're like in an earthquake zone. Or, or why? Or like if a kid tries to climb sure, on it. Or maybe you don't know how to properly shelve a bookshelf and you too, weigh it too heavy on the top or something. I've or never thought about that. You put your you put your classics, the thick books. You put those on the yeah. bottom. Those always go on the bottom. <clears throat> then you go bottom to top. Boys podcast episode seventy one. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> I've never thought about <clears throat> the art of shelving books. And I've worked at a bookstore. There's an art to it. I worked. I worked at Barnes and Noble, and yeah. I still had. I couldn't shelf were, a book. You were a barista at the Barnes and Noble. Though, no, right? no, no, my friend. <laughs> That's where I started. Okay, so you moved. Oh up. shit! I you moved up. up. I moved up to the book floor. I was a bookseller. Mm -hmm. nice. Couldn't stack a book to save my life, though. Shelve a book. I can't even say it right. So you, so you didn't last that long, right? Uh did you did you lie for a few? Like yeah. fake it, fake it till you make it. <laughs> I did not make it. Yeah, some like Gary is just like, hey, Robbie, I need you to shelve these books, and you're like, oh, okay, and then you go find like <laughs> another roll cart and just stick it in that. Yeah, or, or like, another employee. Go, hey, <laughs> hey, Steve, can you shelve these books for me? I gotta yeah. go take a shit. Yeah, <laughs> like he told me to, but I, you know, <clears throat> you can do it better, and then you yeah. just bounce. Was it like that? No, I tried. Yeah. I tried, but I failed. So this is actually this is actually Josh and I's podcast now. We're going to interview. Yeah. Let's I worked, do it. I Nobody ever asked me anything. <laughs> I worked at a bookstore for like five years. Really loved it. Yeah. Uh, but now I find myself if I go to a place that sells books, I find myself straightening everybody's shelves because it's the biggest like pet peeve of like books that are uneven. Or if they stick out, oh, I don't like it. Mm. Or who puts their book on top like of the it. other books, like sideways and on top? Fuck that. Uh, yeah, I've. I don't know. I've never been. I've I never been that home. kind of person. I do my own. I am a. I'm an adjuster. Like things on my desk are like like the label has to be a certain way. I'm, I'm yeah. mm -hmm. the lighter, the other things, the <laughs> mixer. All that has to be lined up. I mean, look at that speaker right there. It's yeah. like it's like everything's in its place. But I do not do that to other people's shit because I don't care about other people that much. <laughs> right, right. That much because I don't care. I do yeah. care, yeah, but yeah. just not that much. I feel like I do the same thing, and it lasts for like a day. Mm -hmm. And then fuck it, and, and then yeah. fuck it happens. And then I'm a garbage person after yeah. that, and I'm like, yeah, it looked cool yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like when you clean house, like the day when you do like a deep clean, you're like, oh, everything looks fucking tight, smells good in here, everything looks awesome. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, two days later you come in like, I mean, what the hell? Yeah, am I really this garbage of a person? Yeah, I don't know. I'm a tidy boy. I keep it tidy. I keep it tight. I've gotten what like way better, like because before. I mean, like, I have to be now. I guess I don't have to be, but I like who I'm with, so I am. Mm -hmm. Like, so, like, if I just treated our apartment like I treated my other ones, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd be living there. Well, when you live with a girl, it's totally, like, a per a, or your significant other. Yeah. Way to be gender specific. It's yeah, totally dude. different. It's a different, it's a different you be respectful. Yeah. Of yeah. each other's of each other. space. Yeah. Well, that brings mm -hmm. me to my first point. Mm -hmm. Oh. Dating someone new. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I realize, got to keep it sexy. Like, got to keep it tight yeah, for a man. while. Not just That's your true. home, yeah. but your balls and asshole. Well, yeah. your, your, or, or your, yourself, your, your being. Your, yeah. be, your, your, your body clothes. Is, your body's a vessel. Mm. Your body's wow. a, uh, Shut up. you got to keep that tight. He's getting, he's getting deep. <laughs> deep thoughts with Josh Montgomery. I'm just saying, man. Cue the piano music. I'm a vegetarian. You gotta, you know, sometimes you just gotta, I'm a vegetarian, that has nothing to do with it. Dude. Keep your shit tight. But here's the thing, I'll be honest. <laughs> he does. The, the veggies make his shit nice yeah. and compact. Oh, yeah. I will be honest. Uh, once you get, you've been in a serious, committed, long-term relationship, you were married. Eventually, you stop, keep, the maintenance on the building, you turn into a super at that point. You're like, yeah, as long as it stays up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the building hasn't fell down. Nah, would be all right. Yeah. There's some holes in the walls. Nah, put a put a picture over it 
And with the body, it's, it's really like, easy. ah, well, you got, you got, you just fucking leave it. Who cares? Well, let's, let's take it in, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's take it in. So the house is one thing. I agree. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, I have a sink situation going on in the bathroom and like it leaks but it doesn't leak that bad so i just have like a thing under there and yeah. i dump it out once a month it yeah. like you know but i don't want to fix it yeah I, I even went and bought the stuff to fix it but it's old and it's going to be really difficult mm-hmm. and i don't want to break anything is it like copper or yes a, oh. and it's like oxidized so i don't want to like crack anything yeah. or, or you know what to. sucks is like those are really nice really really nice pipes but like <laughs> they just suck a bag of dicks to work on like it's just it really i feel you i wouldn't fix that shit yeah. either you could call a plumber but then you'd feel like a total yeah. fucking puss by not doing it yourself like yeah. like you couldn't do this yourself i did no fix, yeah i did fix it myself i put yeah. a bucket underneath yeah and it's that, good. i mean that works a, a, that's like a pyrex dish once yeah. a week i gotta pour that bowl out yeah it's just another thing you have to do yeah add, just put that on the list yeah, i do that now you yeah. buy dog food change the bucket yeah mm-hmm. you know yeah the last house me and my wife lived in together uh, it was just a barrage of things that didn't work and you just kind of deal with. Uh, the lights in the kitchen didn't work. So we hung up one of those, uh, what do you call those? Paper lantern things. Yeah. Had one of those. The thing you do, you just plug it into the wall. And then at night when you go to bed, you unplug it out of the yeah. wall. I mean. Just bypass. But bypass after, that old stuff. Yeah. Fuck it. I when, mean, when, I'm sure it looked nice. When we moved out, I was like, I feel like a, did we squat here for like a <laughs> two, three years? pretty much squatted pay, paid rent to squat it's it's like glorified squatting yeah i mean everything else worked our just our lighting situation with a little have you have thing. you ever like <clears throat> got a new apartment right then mm-hmm. you're like all right i'm gonna turn this shit on you know my gas my water and electric it's gonna be on you know the sixth but i fucking hate my place now i'm gonna go and sleep there the fifth have you ever done that sleeping with the lights off like yeah like, like so this is like advanced squatting. Uh huh. Like it's like it's like two o two. Sleeping with the light off sounds like an album title from like a like a late eighties like yeah. a singer songwriter. But it's also the most obvious thing ever. Yeah. Sleeping with the light you know, off. It's like <laughs> at my last as opposed place, to yeah at the last place that I had that's what I did and like the apartment that I had before that it wasn't like it was bad it was fully furnished mm-hmm. it was tight but I wanted to get into the new spot you know. But there wasn't shit there. There was lights. No like, bed, no furniture. No, I slept. I, um, you know what I did? I uh, it was like probably this was probably the saddest thing I've ever done, and I got called out at Target for it, which is fucking hilarious. So uh, at the time, I just gone through a breakup, and I was like, I'm gonna go sleep in my new place. Went to Target. I didn't have any pillows, <laughs> so I bought a a full body pillow. Right. And I had a blanket and I just like slept on the fucking floor. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were saying I slept on the body pillow. No, 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 no. The tiniest bed ever. <laughs> just, no, no. Steve Carell yeah. in a 40 year old virgin. Yeah. No, it was, but it was so funny because shout out the lady was like, oh, what she, I wish I could remember exactly what she said, but I like, I got two things. I got like water. And a fucking full body pillow, and I put it up on the register, and I just got this look that was just like, "This boy is he's gonna fuck that body pillow. He's gonna fuck that body pillow." It sounds like you're preparing for a hurricane. Yeah, <laughs> like that's what it sounds like. Yeah, it was like, I don't know. It was kind of like squatting though, but I like, I but, paid rent. But you were you hydrated. Know? Yeah, I was hydrated. <laughs> I was good. So you know, in movies, when you see, there's always a scene of someone moves into a new place. And they move, but all they moved, there's boxes everywhere, unpacked boxes. And then there's a mattress on the floor. And there's always a montage of them like eating uh, takeout Chinese food. Always and, with the Chinese. Yeah. yeah. And like, who does that? You move everything in and at least get something to where you can turn a TV on. Yeah. I mean, That's the first thing you do. But yeah. you don't put your everything television on the or radio. Wall. Yeah. You don't have to decorate, but no. at least, come on, man. But every it's like a cliche that oh there's a ma- mattress with no sheets on it. I have been in this house for five years. I bought this house about five years ago, and I still have boxes that are un- unpacked. And like I think to myself sometimes, like 
get rid of it, donate it, sell yeah. it, whatever. And then I'm like, no, my my things. <laughs> my things. Yeah. Like those are my things. Like, do you, do you know what's in those boxes? Yeah, everything. You know what's? In I the- could tell you. Like, there's an HDMI cable, uh, old Xbox. There's uh, three books. Uh, yeah. You know, seventeen cents floating around the bottom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't get rid of it. Yeah. All right, so let's bring this back. Sure. Okay. The house. We're on the house. Mm. Let's take it inside. Take it deep. <laughs> Your body. Hear me out. Your yeah. body's a temple for Christ. The house. It. Jesus. It, what's with you in the body analogies? I don't get it. Uh, Josh, the body Montgomery. <laughs> that's, Write that down. That's taken after Jesse. Jesse Ventura's got that True. One. Can you do a Jesse Ventura? Okay, listen, Josh. <laughs> it's kind of like this, Josh. It's kind of... Uh, I don't know. I listen, listen, to, I'm just, I'm I listen to a lot of podcasts where they do like improv and there's like two dudes who do a really mean Jesse Ventura. And I feel like if I did one, it would just be an impression of that impression. Like mean, like rude or mean, like awesome. Good, like good. Like good. Like okay. Awesome. Okay. A mean. A mean. I thought you like mean like he mean. was angry. No. <laughs> like third option. He always sounds angry though. Uh, I do a really good Jesse Ventura uh, pissed off impression. <laughs> That's it though. Only when he's angry. Only when he's angry. Okay, so let's take it inside. Yeah. Get off the body. Mm-hmm. Okay. Get into ours. Mm-hmm. So you meet someone new. You put your best foot forward, uh-huh. which to me is like the other pair of shorts. Okay. You know, um, but you meet someone, you know, you make sure your hair's looking good. You know, you mm-hmm. kind of freak out if you get a zit. You make mm-hmm. sure your beard's trimmed up, whatever. Yeah. Uh, fedora's straight, all that good <laughs> stuff. Sure all that. Well, if you have a fedora, you're not <laughs> talking to anybody new. <laughs> <laughs> Got to make sure the katana's polished up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, make the, sure your Invader Zim t-shirt's <laughs> nice and ironed. Make sure all your decals are crisp on mm-hmm. the back of your Kia Soul and, and get ready to roll. Um, so you're keeping <laughs> it tight. How long does it take uh-huh. for you to be like, you know, I, I know I'm seeing my girl tonight, but I don't really need to trim this this up. I'm fine. Yeah. Like, I, I wore this shirt yesterday, but she didn't see me yesterday. Like, it's cool. I don't yeah. stink. You know? Yeah. How long does that take? It's like second date. <laughs> <laughs> like listen the morning after yeah, I mean, all right you gotta, you gotta let her know like look like i'm not that great <laughs> See, my, my wife and i were talking about that like you you go on the first date trey and i were talking about that too you go on a first date and you you spruce up you dress up you make it nice but you're just lying to them. That's yeah. exactly. That's not it. who you are. That's, no. Yeah. Just be yourself. But if you were yourself on the first date, the person might be like, yeah, mm-hmm. but, but she's lying too. She's yeah. not that person. Yeah. She doesn't wear a fucking nice clothes all the time. Shave her legs. She doesn't put uh-huh. makeup on all the time. <laughs> just, it, you're going, you, you're dropping 60 bucks on a meal. You're not going to do that all mm-hmm. the time. Man, as soon as, as soon as my girl walks in, I lift up her arm and I check out her armpits. And I'm like, come to my house. Those pits better be shaved. Wow. That's. You guys Rude? don't? No. no. Really? Yeah. So what I like to do for a Bushman? Date, hmm? Are you a Bushman? What does that mean? Do you like the Bush? <laughs> not George W. Not George H. W. I'm talking. Not the jungle. Okay. Here's 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 my take <laughs> on it. Here's my take. I was on fucking it. kidding about the armpit thing, Dylan. Yeah. No, no, no. I hope you're trolling me a little okay. bit. Do I like <laughs> armpit hair? No. Do I? require it to be shaved you don't inspect no. when they come over no i mean like i you know i don't really care i, I thought see i thought you were talking about pubic hair but for yeah a second. okay yeah see my thing is like do you shave your pubes yes no you don't not do down to the wire your- yes i do dude, i will show you right now <laughs> let's do that let's whip it out dude okay that do is I, not a bush. Do yeah. I? Yeah. uh i go through periods where i shave it and let it grow all back out yeah, yeah. like i mean like to the balls like, right like, i so i can't skin to skin like, i've never <laughs> god this is i've never dated somebody who just like bushed out bushed out. you know <laughs> i've never b-u-s-h apostrophe d <laughs> yeah and it's not like i avoid those women it's just that they just uh not a whole lot of women have giant bushes anymore i guess i think so. it's making a comeback Actually, you think I do. How do you? How would you know? Uh, I wouldn't because I haven't been in the game. But from what I've <laughs> he seen, specs a lot. From what I've seen in uh, videos just, on the internet, oh. that it's uh, apparently it's coming. Bush back. is you back. talking about like those uh, those uh, those fucking videos? Yeah, those fuck videos. No, okay, <laughs> on the internet. Disgrace to humanity. Yeah. I don't know. I don't ask for it because, like, I mean, I trim up. I don't have like crazy, you know. If I were to show you mine, you'd vomit. Okay. It's a lot. Yeah. It's well, a lot to deal with. I feel like it's tame down here. But, so I don't feel like I can be like, hey, yo, trim up. 
Like, <laughs> I don't ever. I, I don't put care. on like like the Bill Cosby, good Bill Cosby, not bad Bill Cosby. Doctor okay. Huxtable, the the white glove when he would check to see if the chores were done, and he would yeah. he would put on a white glove and like mm-hmm. run his finger across the top of the picture frames. Yeah, so I do on the armpit. I'm like, better not feel, better not feel anything catching here. Wow. So I don't what, mind what do it. your pits look like? I don't have any hair. That's also not true. Let's see your pits, dude. Robbie's not a hairy guy. What the fuck? I'm, Robbie I don't have like, a hairy chest either. Yeah. Like that's that's not very much, dude. Got a hairy okay. ass. It all went to the ass, <laughs> which I don't shave. So Dude, I got, I got okay. the, uh, man, getting old fucking sucks. I got shoulder hair, but it's not like Carl from Aqua Teen. It's like little, just little guys. Yeah. Like sprigs? Just sprigs. And I have angel wings on my back and it's gross. I have Dude, angel wings too. I've got like three just splotches. Mm-hmm. It looks like someone, like if someone threw mud at you mm-hmm. and like three little... <laughs> And then it just like <laughs> hair grew there. Yeah, like Woodstock '94. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah. And like I've talked about getting it waxed because I hate it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't shave it yourself. I can't. It's oh, did like, you can? No, no, dude. It's like in a spot where like it's not possible. Oh, I do it. I, I do. I do. Wanna, I use both. So I'll do like and stretch. I'll like do yoga to get it, and yeah. then I'll do the other side, and I'll do this thing where I take this left hand mm-hmm. and I go behind my back like an old school back yeah. scratcher, and with another mirror try to get it. See, I don't I like, like it. I think that shit's chance. gross. If yeah. I did that, I feel like I would just slice my back. What kind of? Are you using a straight razor, dude? What the fuck? Uh, yeah. Get a big. Get a big. Get a big. <laughs> Mach three. I don't know. I've, I've never shaved my back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I know I could get it shaved, like, but I'm just like, no, you don't. Yeah. Like, it's fine. I'll, one day I'll get it waxed or something, and then I'll grow back in like a week. Just imagine like walking into a barber shop, get your haircut, and then you just like pull your shirt off, and be like, "Hey, yo, could you get this? Yeah, yeah sure, I'm back here. <laughs> yeah, going to like Josh Kidd or Jake Morris, saying like, wave another dollar, <laughs> a single dollar bill, like, hey, it's in it for you. Yeah. Uh, I do not inspect armpits. Yeah. yeah, my big question is though, you know, I, I agree with you, mm-hmm. so it lends to the question of how long do you wait? But I agree, like it's kind of lying if you go to the nicest restaurant, yeah. and you spend yeah. all this money that you don't ma- probably have, and yeah. you wear clothes you don't no- don't mm-hmm. normally wear. You know, you fix your hair in a way you don't, whatever. It is kind of lying, and I've thought about that Clean because your car out and all that. Yeah, yeah. Well, after I was divorced, I thought to myself, like, you know, from here on out. You know, I, I'm I'm older. I don't want to play the dating game, and I want whoever yeah. I meet to like matter. You sure. know, like I've never been a hookup kind of guy, really. I mean, we've all had our fun, but I've never just been like out there prowling around right. dating a bunch of people. At, yeah. You know, at once that or whatever. Sounds kind of like the worst. It thing. does. It sounds scary. It yeah. sounds scary and just like time consuming. Yeah. I don't know. I just like dude. Tinder sounds like a nightmare to me. I haven't done it. I yeah. I did not download Tinder. Oh, dude. You know what's hilarious? I have used it and i'm terrible at it i don't think like my my thing is like i feel like when girls see me they're not instantly like you know what i would like to go out with that guy i'd like to date that guy i'm more of like a get to know you yeah it's Mm -hmm. more like hey like i'm just gonna wait until (laughs) you're (laughs) until you're just like oh shit you know what like all these other dudes kind of suck and you suck less. So I'm <laughs> I mean, date yeah. you. They like, might be yeah. tall and tan and big muscles and a yeah. big cock and like, you know, just yeah. they smell good. Yeah. And Eventually they, you get tired of they that. They don't have yeah. zits. Yeah. They have a jo- like a really successful yeah. job, a nice watch. They drive an awesome car. Mm-hmm. You know, they have a 401k. Yeah. Yeah. But then the women eventually get tired of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then they're like, hey, Rob's kind of funny. Yeah, because most of those dudes, <laughs> like, most of those dudes kind of fucking suck. Yeah. I mean, I've never dated them, but, I mean. I've dated the female equivalent of that, and they suck. They're, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I feel yeah. like. Well, I thought to myself, like, okay, from here on out, I'm just going to be me. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to hide it. I'm not going to hide it. I'm not going to mask it, uh-huh. but it's I'm just going, to, I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I saw that lyric bouncing around in your head, like a Disney cartoon. Like I totally saw it, but yeah, I, I thought, I thought to myself like, and not that I wasn't me before. I think becoming me led to the divorce, right. like, yeah. not being cool anymore. Yeah. You know, putting yeah. on this, like, Hey, we're going to do all this stuff. Yeah. It's I like, think- no, I'm going to work and come home and go to sleep. And then, yeah. you yeah. know. I think Maybe it also comes with weekends. growing up, getting yeah. older, well, like yeah. a new phase in life. Like you start giving a shit less, like hitting 30 was like, 
stop giving a shit. Mm -hmm. Hit 35, it's like, man, I really don't give a shit. And I think 40 is going to be like, dude, fuck everything that I don't give a fuck about. Fuck the world. Fuck the world. No, I mean, not being negative, just being like, I really don't, I can stop pretending to care about these things that I don't really care about. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mean, we all do care, right? Sure. But there are things that you, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I feel like the beginning of a a relationship is really fun, but it's also like, you know, like we talked about, it can be sort of dangerous if you don't, you know, if you just put on this veil and you're like, yo, I'm lit fam. And mm-hmm. they're like, hey, you kind of suck now. It's Why like, did you say that, first of all? Me? No, no, like, oh. I, I'm, I'm role-playing. Oh, gotcha. Uh, because, dude, it's like, it's new and fresh. Yeah. Bruh. Yes, queen. It's lit. <laughs> no, but like, what? I don't know. It's nice to, you know, have you ever met somebody where you're like, you get invited to a party and you really don't want to go. Like, that's what. That's Every time. What, that's what happened to me. Like, I was in bed watching Dexter and my friends were like. Hey, dude, what are you doing? I'm like, yo, I'm, it's like 11. I'm in. <laughs> I'm, yeah, like, I've got no clothes on and I'm watching a serial killer TV show. That sounds creepy. When like, you say I'm it that clocked way. out. I'm <laughs> clocked out. Like, I, I mean, like, I had underwear on. Dick in hand. Yeah. Dick in hand. Yeah. I'm jerking off the desk, yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> I'm like, I'm doing jack shit. And they're like, oh, well, there's a party at Joel's house. You should come. And I was like, I don't know if like you didn't hear what I just said, but I'm not going. And they're like, okay, we'll be there in 10 minutes. I'm like, fuck you. So I get dressed, go to this party. And and, and, like, I had no prep time for this party because I didn't give a fuck. I was just like, okay, my hair looks fine. And I smell like what I was just doing. Like laying around, which is not shit. Right. (laughs) And so I go to this party and... I was just the most me I could possibly be, you know? And I was just like, well, if I'm here, I'm just going to fucking, I'm just going to drink and like try and have some fun at this thing I didn't want to go to. And then I met this girl and I was like, she's super cute. I'm going to just try and talk to her. And I guess like, what's nice is the way that she like realized that I existed was somebody said something about God and I made fun of god and she was like who the fuck is this jerk over here and then we started talking and then like i don't know i just didn't feel like i had to fake anything because i met her and i was just like hey this is like what i look like 80 percent of the time right and like this is what i do 80 percent of the time like this is who i am and it's the first time that i feel like i've ever got to do that Mm -hmm. and it was the most like liberating sort of like relationship it's a good feeling yeah but i don't think it necessarily means that you're always faking it when you first meet someone i think sometimes you know you meet someone you have a lot of things in common Mm -hmm. and you're into the same things and then one person kind of veers off whether for it's good or the bad or you know both people veer Mm -hmm. and then sometimes it takes a little faking it as you go if you veer in different directions you know or not on parallels or whatever but that's that's a good feeling man yeah Mm -hmm. well do you i mean <clears throat> you say faking it while you're in a relationship. Do you think you're really faking it or do you think it's more of like sort of adapting temporarily? Because like question. there's give and take, you yeah. know, like, I mean, like I said, like I'm a garbage person. My apartments used to look like total dog shit and now they don't because I appreciate being with this person, mm-hmm. you know? And so like, I guess like I'm quote unquote faking it by like, giving a shit about dishes that need to be washed as soon as you use them and like not like throwing shit around the house and not cleaning it up and Mm -hmm. not like starting a big like art project and just leaving that shit on the dining room table which is what i would have done yeah and but now i feel like i've sort of like bettered myself and adapted to it that being said i feel like if we ever broke up and I had my own apartment, I'd probably just go right back to being a fucking garbage well, you, person. Well, what happened was you you reprogram yourself. Yeah. It's not changing yourself. I yeah. guess you kind of are. You're updating the system. Yeah. And, you know, I and like, I, like some people are like, oh, you shouldn't change for a person. Like, yeah, you're right. But, like, at the same time, you sucked before. Yeah. You suck less now. Yeah. Like, you're good. Like, well, yeah, think, you change, but for the better. I like, think I think a lot of people don't. Who, who do that and stray away from like, fuck that, I'm not changed for anybody. They don't 
they know there's something about them that needs to change mm-hmm. and they just don't want to give it up. Like yeah. being a shitty person or yeah. just something about them like wash your fucking dishes when you're done with, you know, yeah. that kind of shit. Like, and when you get with somebody, they, it opens your eyes to like, oh, wow. Yeah. I guess, I guess some things I do is kind of not fucked up, but like, I should probably change that. Yeah, and then like, you slowly start changing and then it just becomes a part of your every fucking day. Yeah. And then that's like for a long time, I was just that dude who partied all the time slept on a twin size mattress my clothes were literally just in a tub yeah like because i was ready to move at any fucking minute the old clothes in a tub yeah dude not a bathtub but you know like a well, rubbermaid right. tub right no i i mean i think we know where would you shit okay. yeah. for the listeners where would you shit, <laughs> you shit in the bathtub always shit in the tub but then stomp it down yeah, yeah. oh my god and then turn that just hot hot let hot it melt water. let it melt oh let it steam oh Steamed shit. <laughs> steamed steam shit. Go to the restaurant. I don't know. Just have some of that steamed shit. Oh Whatever. Give, give me something to steam. Steam, steam yeah. shit. Give me something so, to steam. Give me something to shit. Uh, <laughs> so then I started dating this girl who was a little more hoity toity from a, a richer background than I. And it opened my eyes to like, oh, wow, I need to change a lot about myself. And then, you know, we were there together like three years and we broke up. And then I lived on my own for like a year. Mm-hmm. Did you revert? No, I went to this whole and it may have clicked like genetically my, my mom was always a clean freak and that may have just clicked in my brain of like just keep your apartment clean yeah. i kept my apartment clean i vacuumed swept every day if i dirty to plate cleaned it put it back up and when people come over like so like you and your girlfriend live here? like no dude i'm single you're single and you your house is this clean yeah, yeah dude like he's gay <laughs> <laughs> me, it's me, me and my dog <laughs> um is there anything more sad than the dude that's all. how old are you first of all i'm 24 oh well, dang you're a young buck yeah dude dang all right well there's nothing yeah, like yeah. guys that are our age <laughs> or your age i'll be inclusive here old yeah. bucks that live by themselves like it can go one of two ways it can be like the ultra tidy guy that has everything in a place and mm-hmm. you know or it can just be the pits it can just be like <laughs> yeah. terrible mm-hmm. like i've had friends i've always been a tidy boy but i've had friends that go to their house and it's just like you eat here yeah like yeah. you yeah. just stacks of like games just sprawled out everywhere and then like ashtrays multiple ashtrays filled with like cigarette butts and then Ugh. there's like cans and you go to the kitchen there's just plates piled up and like pizza boxes it's crazy to me like you like you'd go to the bachelor pad your friend's bachelor pad and there'd be like all these beer cans everywhere mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i'm like listen i like to drink beer too but the beer's already in my hand. Yeah. I finish it. And then I'm, you just walk I'm, it. Well, I'm walking to the fridge to get another one. Yeah. Like as soon as that last drop hits the tongue. Yeah. The trash, trash can. can's right it's next. It's right like, there. You can do it in one yeah. motion. The best part though is is the dudes that like that's how they live. They're like, dude, I can't uh can't find a girl. Like, have you seen your fucking house? Do you bring them here? Yeah, <laughs> like, if you bring a girl here, there's no fucking way. She's like, oh, you know what? Keep her. No. No. Because you have 30,000 beer cans all over your floor. I'm going to say, if you're lucky, she's one of the ones that really want to fix, get a fixer-upper guy. Yeah. Like, oh, I can fix him. This is a project. Yeah. And they start dating you, and they totally change you. Yeah. And then may, it may stick. It may not. That's I was a fixer upper for this particular girl. Yeah. But you didn't want to be fixed the way she wanted to fix no. you. No. No. She wanted me to like wear, you know, n- nice clothes and Yeah. You know, when you graduate college, you better be making seventy five thousand dollars a year. That's what she said to me. But does she know how the world works? Apparently not. Yeah. Okay. No. No. So yeah, but I, some things I did take was cleanliness. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Uh herpes. Her herps. Just kidding. No, uh but uh Every now and then I'll think about it. If I get too many other things, I'll start thinking, do I look trashy? Do I look, do I, do I dress well or do I look eh, gross? You're fine. I got, I, mean, I got these dad pants that are totally, it's like. Dude, you're killing the dad pants. Enough about the pants. No, no, okay, what, what was that? What was that? I mean, if you're going to wear them two days in a row too, you can't keep talking about What's them. What's the magic, what's that shit where like the mad, you put on like a magic shoe and it changes your whole personality or like a hat. A magic shoe? Oh. Yeah, there's like a cartoon back in the day, like you. Was it MC Hammer had the magic shoes? He had like the dancing shoes. Yeah, and they they magically change you, dude. Okay, I, I think so he's dad shoes. But, but the thing is, though, mm-hmm. is I feel like that's totally fucking spot on. Because like, okay, here's the thing. I can't wear these shoes mm-hmm. with everything, right? Like, I can, but I'll look bad. All right. So if I wear these with like a pair of skinny jeans, you know, it's gonna it's gonna fold up. It's gonna nah, because mm-hmm. they're too tight. But if you throw on some fucking dress shoes, like, or those boots that I mm-hmm. have, dude, 
they they're great it's fine and then i feel like with that i mean i mean if you're wearing like nice shoes i feel like you're well that's that's, that's, I mean, a, you that's a whole that's a horrible thing right? about changing the shoes your, that make the man yeah, the, the shoes, shoes make the man the shoes to match the shirt it's all but that's the thing though when you're younger you don't know that shit it's like i'm just gonna wear these fucking chucks with everything or these vans yeah. with everything and then you eventually like oh i can coordinate yeah oh okay it's yeah. tight. Maybe you shouldn't wear chucks with slacks. Or you hit your <laughs> yeah. mid-30s and you start wearing dad Nikes. But, yeah. That's and I'll pretty tell cool, you, though. When I bought these. Did it change you? They're great. Mm-hmm. I'm never going back. But I just felt like the old man holding the white New Balance. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, I felt things. I was like, mm, yeah. I want you. You look so comfortable yeah. and, and somewhat stylish. Was it was it the devil and angel on the shoulder? Like the devil was like the punk rock kid in you going like, those are so dead. You're going to look lame. But then that's just like, they look, they got arch support. Yeah, dude, those are comfy as fuck. It you was know, like was... that, but they were both Larry David. <laughs> you're, you're 35 years old. Buy a pair of comfortable yeah. shoes. <laughs> buy the shoes. Just buy the shoes. <laughs> my, uh, my grandparents every now and then, they'll like find a sale on shoes, oh. you know, and they'll like send me pictures of like, hey. Do you want these? And like, I'm 24. So they're like, hey, you want these shoes? I'm like, those are Skechers. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's such a shitty thing. Like, Grandma I'm getting Skechers. free shoes. Yeah. And I'm still just like, nah. No. No. Too much art support. Too much New Balance. I can't get this. My mom. Like, I would not wear free Skechers. <laughs> no. I would not. <laughs> no. let, let that be known. Robbie, quote, I will not wear free Our newest sponsor. <laughs> Skechers. Skechers. I will not wear them. We don't wear them. We don't wear them. No. no. <laughs> Skechers. We don't wear them. Wouldn't my, take them. <laughs> so, like a few months ago, my mom texted me and she's like, "You were what are those shoes you wear all the time? Con Converse?" I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How does she? Was she acting like she doesn't know? And I, I'm at the B. I'm at the BX, and I, I think they have some on sale. You want me to get them for you? And I was like, "It's the BX. It could be a weird color mm-hmm. or whatever." I was like, "Can you take a picture of them first? She's like, "I think they totally look like you." Take a picture. Of them. They were snakeskin chucks. Oh, dude! And, and you hold didn't on, get those, right? like, dude. Hold on, Devil Angel, the Devil side of me goes. <laughs> Halloween's <laughs> coming up. No, Devil side goes. Man, you're in your thirties. You can probably rock some snakeskin chucks. <laughs> And the other side goes, are you fucking kidding me? Those are the ugliest shoes yeah. I've ever seen. No, my mind goes, what about, I guess like pleather pants and some snakeskin shoes? Yeah, see a guitar center, bro. Yeah, exactly. Dude, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. You know, I don't feel like snakeskin anything <laughs> is good. But like, I feel like, you know, if if the devil side of you, right, it's just like, oh yeah, you're, you know, you're in your 30s. You can pull these off. Yeah. No, it's like if you're eight. Yeah, can, like no, no, no. Like if an you're... eight-year-old, like my first pair of Chucks had flames on them. That's how oh, cool I was. Yes. Oh, I remember yeah. those. Yep. I remember those. I was cool. Those are fucking cool. <laughs> Hot rod Chucks. Yeah, dude. People told me. I don't like. I don't like Chucks with print on them. Yeah. I'll take it a step further, guys. Mm-hmm. I cannot respect a man in checkered vans. Can't do yeah. it. I can't Another do it. Another Robbie quote. I can't do I it. Can't can't do it. Well, do those it. are little boy shoes. Well, like, like, yeah, I mean, fucking Nietzsche kind of shit. Going I mean, on. everyone had those, right? Like you have I, some. Uh, I've had many pairs yeah. mm-hmm. when I was a child. Yeah. Oh, dude, I had so many. But no, if I, they're like these are sixty five dollars. I'm like that's hilarious because moms buy those for their kids. <laughs> like those are the only people buying yeah. those now. Like. A grown man, I'm going to say it, fuck it, I'm burning bridges left and right. A grown man in shoes with the Simpsons on them. Like, <laughs> oh my God. I can't look him in the eye. No, like, you can't because you're I'm looking at his shitty shoes. shoes. I love you, yeah. Dylan, I love you, man. Yeah. But those shoes, dude, they're Star Wars, dude. Dude. Out. Out of my house. But Take them off the door. They were 95, they're special edition. Yeah, dude. Then leave them in the box. Yeah. I get them if you're buying them to be a collector. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I'll say this. But don't wear them. Yeah. Here, here's my addendum to that. Uh, I'll allow you to wear those shoes if you have a neck beard. You're wearing a fucking My Little Pony T-shirt. Unironically, if you're if that's who you are, then go full. Yeah, force. because they're cannon fodder. Wear the snakes, yeah. they're fedora. Just, yeah, like, and like their whole look anyway. You don't even have to sh- look at the shoes no, to know no. that you don't need to the talk whole to thing. them at all. This guy's yeah. wearing a fucking Pikachu backpack. And I think mm-hmm. I think I'm a nerd. I'm not one of those hot guys with big muscles. Yeah, but that guy. In the with the fedora and the and the shoes, oh. like he's taking the heat off me. Like oh, I look yeah. good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna walk around with this yeah. guy. I'm gonna be this guy's friend. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But then yeah. you walk next to like a John Hernandez, and you're like, oh, I kind of mm. suck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should fluff up. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. No. I don't know. That guy. He's like, I like 
it's gonna make it sound like shout out to John like Hernandez. I want to suck his dick or something. But who doesn't? <clears throat> I I mean I don't. But like <laughs> he has the body of a Greek god. You know what I'm saying? It's true. Like if I was in like a dire situation, Cuban, there's probably god. no one I'd want to help me other than John Hernandez. I feel like if he had to flip a car, he could. <laughs> you know? Yeah, <laughs> like, I can see that. Like when people get like crazy strength when like they have to have it, you know, like their best friend is like under a car and somehow they can like lift up like a mom. Yeah. 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 Mom, yeah. Like strength. A, yeah. I just feel like that's what he has all the time. Probably. You know, well, it's funny you bring that up because I've never in my life had this thought until recently, but I don't know if it's like browsing the explore tab on Instagram or just seeing things online. But mm-hmm. recently I've been having a thought I'll be laying in bed at night. Mm-hmm. drifting off to sleep, getting mm-hmm. ready for the next day. And it'll just pop in my head and it'll go, I want big muscles. Yeah. Yes. Like I, I want to look like a John Hernandez or yeah. a Dwayne, the rock Johnson. I don't know if I would go that far. A I Brock w- Lesnar. I've always wow. said like, <laughs> a Brock Lesnar. <laughs> he just looks like a massive burnt cauliflower. He also, <laughs> he also looks like all he says is no. Like he looks like the <laughs> no, meanest no, guy. Like no. I, I mean, I feel like he'd punch you in the face for like no reason. Like a, I'd say like more like a Wolverine, like a Hugh Jackman Wolverine, okay. not too jacked, but jacked. I guess he is pretty fucking. Is this jacked. what we're doing? We're just this talking about we're dudes. Do? We're gonna talk about dude muscles. <laughs> Welcome to okay. getting jacked okay. with Joshua Jack. The thing about, with Josh the yeah, Body Montgomery. Yeah. I mean, like a Hugh Jackman <laughs> buff is pretty cool because yeah. he's not like. I mean, he's like, he's like a lean muscle, yeah. you know? Ryan Reynolds. Why are we talking about Ryan Reynolds? Because he's like, jacked as fuck too. Yeah, but he's got a horse face. Oh. Have you seen his face? He's got a long face. I think, <laughs> I think he's handsome. Of course you do. You're like half of all men think that he's super cute. No, he's got a horse face. Wow. Yeah. He's, I mean, I like his movies. He I was, was thinking cool in Deadpool. Like when I think of, when I think of the ideal body type, mm-hmm. I think of like, like a, Mid two thousands, Kevin Smith, <laughs> when he just used to wear like the box, yeah, like, <laughs> the the hockey jersey, the hockey jersey, yeah. trench coat, and the shorts that came down to the top of the socks, <laughs> dude. Because that's a functional body too. You know, if you're like yeah. Yeah. sitting weird, you could put a cup on your stomach. It's like when you it's it's like when you adjusted that wicker chair. You just kind of roll, yeah, yeah. yeah roll you up. just roll up, dude. <laughs> you just roll up, oh, Kevin Smith. Big muscles, though. I've yeah. thought about it. Like, I don't yeah. want to do the work. Yeah, you got to go to the gym. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> no. No. Hold on. I no. refuse. I'm going to no. just for a second because there was a, speaking of Hugh Jackman, there was an article. It was like, fucking clickbait. And I didn't realize it was clickbait on Facebook. Hugh Jackman swears off Hollywood forever. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, I'll read. I'm taking a shit. And I was like, oh, cool. This thing. And then it's, it turns into, the article turns into an ad for supplements. Wow. I'm like, God damn it. You tricked me. <laughs> but, then, but then I started reading it. It's like. Can I take a fucking human growth hormone? Yeah. And get jacked without working out? Well, no. you gotta, you still have to work this out. This thing like says summer. you don't have oh, to. That's a bunch oh, the, of horse shit. The clickbait said you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> yeah. clickbait. Wow. You mean the thing that said paid advertisement yeah. at the very bottom? It didn't until you got to that part of the interview. The yeah. end? <laughs> the middle. No, dude, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm gonna sh- I'll have to show it because right. it, it bleeds in. It's yeah. great. I'll read it. Well, so you wanna get jacked. So you gotta go to the gym and get it. I know, but that's where I draw the line. <laughs> Because dude, well, that's where I put out, my fucking foot down. No, I don't. Is, I don't even put my foot down. Like, it's too, much too hard. Working out. I mean, like for me, and it's not like I work out all the time by any means, but like no shit for me. Wow. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking dick. Uh, for me, it's like that's getting me. getting there. But when you get there and you start working out. It's like, oh, okay, this is cool. And yeah. then when you leave, you feel fucking great. Like, awesome. Yeah. You feel amazing. It's just when you... <laughs> that, is, that is some bullshit you tell yourself. No, it's fucking I've not. N- I've never felt great leaving the gym. Because you've never worked out, Josh. Dude, I've gone to the gym several... That's one of the things this fucking girl... That girl made me do is go to the gym. And I'd go to the gym and I would leave feeling fucking miserable. Well, it's because that girl made you go. <laughs> it was miserable. It's because when you went, you just laid on the floor in the sauna with yeah. your mouth open. Yeah. Just cap- capturing <laughs> cock juice. <laughs> I was thinking sweat, but sure, uh, if you want to take it to balls. Well, that's sweat. what dudes do in the shower, yeah. right? They just, just sit there and <laughs> choke each other. That's why I feel no. good when I leave the gym. Oh, okay. yeah. But no, I agree. Getting there is the it's hardest, the hardest part. Getting, yeah. the, getting there is the hardest. That's not even the melody. <laughs> why can't I? I'm thinking about what the Tom Petty song. Yeah, yeah. Right? Walk back getting down. There. Getting there is the hardest part. There you go. That's that's a, yeah. That was pretty good. Good Petty. Dude, I Put love that Tom on Petty. the list. Yeah. Getting there is the hardest part. Yeah. Like 
getting in the car. Yeah. Driving. And then once you get there, like that moment when you turn the keys off and you're like, fuck. Yeah. I ha- I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. I think it's a subconscious of like, there's going to, you're going to be surrounded by really attractive people, you're people not, with better though. bodies. That's why I go to the Y. Meathead free. Schlubs. Meathead yeah. free. Grannies. Grannies and schlubs. Yeah. Meatheads are the funniest part about gyms though. Yeah. Like one time I went and there was like four dudes there that like, there's no way that they weren't like the smack each other's asses because you worked out so good kind yeah. of guys. And like all they did was just like stand around their dude bro friend who was like, you know, bench pressing like 7,000 pounds. <laughs> and they were just like, do it, do it. Oh. And it's just like watching them. It's just like, what the fuck? It's is primal. Your... It's yeah. crazy. It's primal. It definitely dude, is. It is. Like, I don't, but one dude, the best, the, like my favorite, this is probably my favorite body type, the massive arms and neck and beer gut. <laughs> it's like, dude, um, are you aware? It's uh, like it's like they put on the Halloween costume of muscle arms. Yeah, that's <laughs> or it's it. like an animorph. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but what what's funny too is they have like gnarly legs too. It's just like they're like, yeah, dude, I love to work out, but I love Budweiser too. Yeah. Like yeah. that's it. I'm like, what are you doing? It's so funny, dude. The candy apple on a stick, where like they're huge and jacked, but their legs are tiny. The, the corn dog. God, the yeah. corn dog. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's the best. No, and, and it's funny because I love a good gay joke. I mean, mm-hmm. I am from Oklahoma. I yeah. am in my mid thirties. Yeah. I grew up with it. But I don't, I don't see a parallel in those guys, mm-hmm. the stand around boys and gay. Like, I'm not like, oh, they're doing that because they're gay. Yeah, no. No, they're doing it because they're monkey brains. Yeah. Like, it's primal. They're like yeah. stoked on it. Yeah. Yeah. They love it. Get it! Lift! Lift! Yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, and it's just like you can feel the testosterone, yeah. like, like radiating off them. It's because they take testosterone supplements, too. They're sweating it out everywhere. Yeah. They're just like, they... Those are the kind of dudes that love being dudes, you know, <laughs> like just love being dudes. I, like, I think it's cool. I don't need it. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sure being a girl is cool, too. But like, I don't you know, those guys are just like if they had to be anything else, I feel like they just wouldn't do it. Shout out to all of our weightlifting listeners. <laughs> yeah. <I> mean, <laughs> crank this one in the gym. Yeah. I yeah. I want the big muscles. I don't want to do the work. I do feel great. Like when I would go quote unquote work out, mm-hmm. I would quote unquote run on the treadmill yeah. for 30 you, minutes. What, and then and I would. What do you quote unquote? What? How fast are you quote unquote running? Four. In so you're walking. Well, I'm like walking very briskly. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah. like power walking. Like watching, watching, the, do the little thing. Watching, the watching Housewives of fucking Timbuktu or whatever. See, that's the, I hate running. Like I do a cycling class, which is kind of funny to say on the air but that's what i do and it's fun and like i can cycle like for i mean it's like a 45 minute thing and i'm like i just want to die afterwards because it's like also um like weightlifting and stuff and i could do that for 45 minutes love it if i run for five Mm -hmm. i want to die you know they say running's bad for you like it's bad for your body like your bones and joints and your Mm -hmm. all that shit it's probably and and apparently it rattles your brain and your because your brain's just in there yeah. Just so you know. Just, just hanging out. Just hanging out in there. <laughs> I think it's... Hey, <laughs> just suspended just, in fluid. Yeah, right here. <laughs> Please don't uh, run your face into anything hard. Yeah. yeah. I think running is bad. Okay. I think running is good mm-hmm. for a beautiful <clears throat> 23-year-old gazelle of a woman that's run her whole life yeah. and she just hops along. She's like, yeah. you know, 80% legs. Just, yeah. yeah. And like the, the ponytail is bouncing back and forth. Everything's nice and She's tight. She's got that armband yeah. where the iPod is. Yeah. The yoga pants, the cool sneakers. Great. Running is not good for me. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm not used to it. Yeah. And your body's going, what? Earthquake! Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? Like, yeah. Why Everything's are like tensing up. This? There's no one behind us. Like, yeah. no one is chasing us. Why are we doing <laughs> you this? You get like a half a mile in and you're like, your legs are like seizing up. Yeah. Like, what? I ran when I was a kid and then I haven't ran in a long, <laughs> long time. Yeah, it's been a while. So it's been smooth sailing yeah. for like 20 years. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I go quote unquote run on this treadmill yeah. and my body is just scream my asshole is screaming. Yeah. Well you gotta think eventually it's like, like everybody's trying to leave the movie theater yeah. when Dude, it's on fire. I like I'm I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes uh like my girlfriend, she's like the gazelle girl. She'll like run around and the other day she was like, Hey do you want to go run with me? I was like, Yeah, it's gonna be really bad and you're gonna not respect me after this. But yeah, we could totally do it. And we we run around the what is the the OCU by mm-hmm. my house, 
we'll run around that and she just like runs like it's like not a big deal and i'm like you know after like one lap i'm like dude can't do it you're gonna i'm gonna die i mean i finished the run i felt really good about myself i shouldn't have because i was just like i couldn't breathe mentally you felt good physically hurt like a motherfucker yeah because uh, another thing what and i i i left my like running shoes at work because they have art support and you know if i'm like at my old job i was you know delivering shit all the time so i had walking shoes but i ran in these and like those are like chuckas right like chucka boot sneakers kind of thing chucka boots they're vans dude they're like high top vans i don't know they're pretty flat sold from here i can see the sole and yeah that's not a running shoe no it's no. not and that's what i ran in and i was just like halfway through i was like you're fucking stupid it reminds me of my dad when he's like back when i was a kid and the way it talks like this now, we've all, we've all heard the way my dad talks. Is your dad fucking Columbo? <laughs> One more question. Hey, listen, kid. <laughs> back when I was a kid. He's like, back, he's like, back when I was a kid, hell, we played basketball in Converse All-Stars yep. and, and PF yeah. Flyers. I'm like, yeah, but that was because there's technology now. Yeah. yeah. Like, back then, they just strapped rubber to their yeah. feet and can you imagine? Jumped. Can you yeah. imagine, like, Kobe and the gang all wearing Chuck Taylors? Kobe and the gang. <laughs> Who's the rest of the game? I said the game yeah. because I can't name any other basketball <laughs> players off the top of my head. <laughs> that, that, that so Kobe Bryant and all of his basketball friends. Wait, Kobe it's a Bryant. Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> Kobe Bryant and the entire roster of the entire yeah. NBA yeah. league. Yeah, the game. No, it's Kobe up front and then like in the back. It's the entire NBA. 4,000 people. Are, <laughs> yeah. They got the trainers in there. They got the coaches. They got the commentators. I don't, even, I don't even think he plays game. basketball anymore. He doesn't. No. <laughs> Yeah. Even better for here, my here reference, LeBron and the gang. That's, that's probably what you. I meant. That's LeBron you. and the you gang. You could have at least named a Thunder player, like I, I, Westbrook and the gang. Yeah. Westbrook and the gang. That paints no, a good Westbrook picture. would be Westbrook and company. Oh, I like that. That is cool. I like that because he's yeah. that kind of guy. Speaking of style, that dude's got style. Yeah, dude, I just thought of an epic T-shirt mashup: mm -hmm. the Dead and Company mm -hmm. and Westbrook, but have a basketball in the skull. Oh. That'd be really cool if the Grateful Dead didn't suck. Well, all right, moving on. Uh, <laughs> so we're coming up to the end of the show here pretty soon. Oh, wow. That's quick. We didn't even interview you, man. Yeah. Because we're going to have to delete this and start over. <laughs> no, this was great. This yeah. was great. What's we, we usually do kind of a wrap up on your week. Josh, mm -hmm. how, how have you been, man? How, how's it been since last Sunday? Week was good, man. It was a short fucking week. We got a three day, got that Labor Day. was amazing. Three day week. I got a three day week next week. And, and the next and week. And the next week. Because wow. I'll be coming back from vacay. I'm going to Chicago next week. So this week was good. You know, just, just kind of plow through it. Got two new guys at the shop. This guy to my right is one of them. Yeah. That was a good time. Dylan, how was your week? It was great. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Good job. Probably one of the best in a while, if not ever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> got a new job. We're going to Keeley. Got a new guitar f for just being a human. Um which is really cool. And Priceless. Then, yeah. And then got that uh, cavern. Uh, I, It's not mine. I'm using it right now. Mm -hmm. like testing it out. I'm sure eventually it'll become a part of your, yeah. your gear. You know, that new job feeling is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it, it becomes slightly more terrifying the older you get. But when I was younger, you know, and going through my many jobs, didn't have quite as many as old Josh the Body I meant Montgomery. I to bring my list today. Here, I'll bring it for the next episode. Yeah. We'll go through it. But that new job feeling, man. It's really Especially good. when you're going... When you're like getting a better job and mm -hmm. it's something you actually want to do job. yeah oh yeah 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 my last week at my old job was just like a shit show my boss was being a huge dick and then I, you know like it's my last day and i was stoked i was like well i'm gonna go do something that's actually cool and you can go fuck off and then i had this you know this week was awesome just because like it's cool to work with people again like have co-workers and stuff which yeah. is super nice because, you know, at first when you just like are working with yourself, you're like, oh, cool. Like, I don't have to fuck with anybody. And then like six months later, you're I'm like, lonely. Yeah. And then six <laughs> months later, you're like, oh, man, I don't have to fuck with anybody. You know, it sucks. <clears throat> yeah. So here it's really cool. Just like being around guitars and guitar pedals. I don't think I've really played guitar as much as I have this week in a while. Nice. Just being around it, you know, is really cool. Yeah. And, and you're also working on a podcast I wanted to touch on. What's, yeah. what's the status? I didn't know if I should bring it up or not, but I figured out ah, what the hell. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what yeah. the hell? Um, 
It's called Blunders and Braggins. It's a Dungeons and Dragons live play podcast. And we we have to find a theme song and do like a an opening thing for it, which is going to take like think, five seconds. I think I know someone who can help you out with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Josh. That's sweet of you. You know, funny you mentioned that <laughs> because I've written a few. Yeah. No, uh, <laughs> when I did the one for boys, uh, I um I had just got this recorder. Yeah, here's a little behind the curtain. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I just got this recorder. I was testing it out. I was like reading the manual and learning how to use it and whatnot. And I had this Squire Affinity Telecaster. Nice, like an eighty nine dollar real piece of shit. Yeah, had to have it though for some reason. Mm -hmm. So I had it and I had a guitar cable and I had the mixer Yeah, and I just ran the guitar directly into the mixer. And that was the very first thing I played. I hit record. Nice. I recorded it. Since then, I've always wanted to change it. Yeah. Like record it again, yeah. like with through an amp and make it sound I think, good. I think how it is, is good. <clears throat> put, put like, like make it a little bit longer and put like a drum beat at the end yeah. or something, something spice it up. Yeah. But I don't think I can. No, I no. love it. I it's love good. the simplicity. Yeah. It's cute. And it I sounds like it. shit. And I like that. It yeah. sounds crappy. See, I have no, like there's like a whole different sort of like, array of Dungeons and Dragons live play podcasts, right? So I've listened to a few. So there's people who like their opener is like this silly, like fun intro song. And then there's others that's like dun 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 like Game of Thrones <laughs> kinda. And I'm just like, I mean, what am I really going for right now? Because I'm not about to learn how to play a Game of Thrones song, but I also, you know, I don't know what to do. I have an idea. I think there's a guitar pedal that you just got yeah that might you should just do some like deep deep reverb and like delay shit on guitar yeah but you want it to be concise yes yeah. like 20 30 seconds max yeah. probably yeah. yeah do me a favor yeah close your eyes okay <laughs> they're closed okay for the, just for the listeners sit with it for a moment okay now think of the podcast think of your podcast mm -hmm. think of where it is think <laughs> yeah. of where it's going okay think of the people involved now take a moment to think of the audience. Yeah. Think of the content, the quality, the purpose. Yeah. Now, think of a theme song. What does it sound like to you? Do I have to keep my eyes closed for this? Yes. Um, for the rest of the show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I'm thinking, like, our characters are kind of goofy, right? Like, some of the characters... You, you can know, open we, your eyes. We, we, we poke fun, you know? Yeah. Some one-liners which is really easy to do now mm -hmm. uh, with the world that we live in. Uh, but like the story is pretty serious. So funny name, Serious Sand, which is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's called Blunders and Braggins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, Blunders and Braggin. I so maybe like a Danny Elfman kid. kind of a vibe? Kind of. Something a little more like a little uh, Beetlejuicy or Edward Scissors handsy. See, that would be cool. Yeah. I'd like something like that. Um, I can't do that. I'm not that good. Yeah. So where are you at with the show right now? You you you've recorded a couple. Yeah, we've. Recorded, but they're not quite out yet, right? Yeah, um, we've recorded a lot, but I think our last one that we recorded over at Josh's house is what we'll use for the first, the first episode, um, just because it sounds better, and you know we're like in a, an actual like place now where we know that we can do it every week, and I don't know, it's just like we can do a backstory episode you know like release two first episodes or something like that yeah um but yeah i mean it's so much fun it is so much fun to do because like you just hang out and play dungeons and dragons and just like hit record you know and yeah. it's cool because like the stories for D D can be epic as fuck and what's funny is like <laughs> you can't it's like one of those things you can't really talk to people about and them give a fuck, even if they play D and D, you know. But like, if you play a video game and your friend has a video game, you're like, "Oh, dude, I did this cool thing!" Nah, nah, nah. And you're like, "Oh, that's awesome!" But then, like, if you go to like one of your friends and you're like, "Yeah, man, my like level twelve rogue did this real awesome crit and saved the day," then they're like, "You fucking are a loser!" Like, hey, you know, it's just fucking like, nerd. <laughs> yeah, it's like no one they don't care. Yeah. And then, like, if you talk to somebody. 
nine times out of ten, if you talk to somebody who also plays D anD D about your campaign, they also are just like, "Cool, you know." It's like I don't know, but yeah, there's some misconceptions with D anD D brethren yeah. fans. I'm I play D anD D and I'm excited to talk about it. I've talked about it a lot on this podcast, but yeah. sometimes I'll meet somebody else that plays and I'm, I'm like excited to talk about it. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh yeah, that's cool." Yeah. I know, and I don't know that much. Like, I there are people that know a lot more than me about it, yeah. but I don't, I, enjoy I, it. I don't get it. I don't get why people don't like we're, we're going off the deep end of nerd right now, but like, I don't get why people who play D and D don't like to talk about D and D. I all talk about it all day. I've done it. Like, I mean, I'm making a fucking podcast about it, you know? And it like, I listen to multiple podcasts and the majority of them our D and D live play podcast. Cause there's so much fun to listen to and the story is really good. You know, like the stories are fucking kick ass. They're awesome. really cool to listen to. So, I mean, I don't get, I don't get why people don't like to talk about it. <clears throat> I've been playing it since I was like 12. And so to me, it's just like, it's a lot of fun. It's the best game I've ever played. Yeah. You know, it's easily. so fun. Yeah. Did you ever play like muds growing up? Do you know what that is? Like the multi-user dungeons, the text-based uh-uh. role-playing games? I mean, I, I've i had several of those on my phone. Oh, dude, you got to go back and do them on the computer. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got into those. I was probably 16 or so, and I had a pothead buddy who played them all the time. And I'd go over to his house, and I'd just be like, what are you doing? It looked like he was coding. Yeah. Because it's just characters on a screen, you know? <clears throat> yeah, it looked like he was coding. This is on like an old like Gateway 2000 computer, right. you know? And... I was like, what, what do you, why do you keep walking over to computer, doing something, some colors come up and then you walk away. Yeah. And he sat me down and showed it to me. Yeah. And you know, me being a little nerd D and D kid that I was, I just like ate it up yeah. and man, it's, it, they're good on the phone. Yeah. Like there's some modern ones that are pretty good, Yeah. but man, there's certain ones I could turn you on to that are like, it's like D and D, but you're playing online with people and you're reading everything or you can go play solo or you can group up with people What? and all the communities there's a few biggies that are still left, mm-hmm. but most of the ones that I played when I was younger, there are like no one on anymore. Yeah. Like there's one that I really, really, really love. That was the one my friend played. Yeah. At the most, I've seen like four people on the server and usually it's none. And sometimes it's like one. Dude, that's always such a bummer. Like there's this, and I fucking hate it, but have you ever heard of the game Neverwinter Nights? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, there was the game before that, just Neverwinter and uh, a buddy of mine has told me about it, and it sounds like the coolest fucking game because it's just like it's D and D on a computer, like sort of like World of Warcraft style. I think before it was before World of Warcraft came out, if I'm not mistaken. But it was, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, and like <clears throat> you can do so much in that game, and like the the creator tools are like super in depth, and like you can own your own shops and like be in charge of like import export stuff like all the stuff that kind of sounds boring the fact that you're able to do it sounds amazing and i and then like there were dms pretty much for the games and you know if there was like a city where like everyone everything was going like peachy keen and like everything was cool they'd be like and here's like 50 goblins that are going to come try and raid the city like actively while you're playing the game they're like playing god yeah they, how tight like, would that be to be the god yeah super sick dude and like so then i'd be a good god yeah but then like while you're playing you have to like hit up your clan like yo our city is being overran by fucking goblins show like run through and so then they would and you have to like fight these things that essentially the gods threw at you and like i don't know it sounds like so so cool and i didn't know about it until like fucking three years ago but the problem with those, and, and that does sound amazing, but yeah. the problem is you, you load it up. Like every once in a while, I'll get that itch to play World of Warcraft. I, yeah. I, I was never super, super into it, but I played it pretty regularly. Same. I get that little itch to play, and then I'll, I'll find like a private server to play on or something. Mm-hmm. I'll play it, and I'll be like, you know, this is nostalgic and great, but boy, the graphics suck. Yeah. And boy, is it kind of broken. Yeah. You know? With the text base, though, man, your the graphics are in your mind. Yeah, dude, it's all in the noodle, dude. It's, it's all in the noodle, like <sighs> Dylan the Noodle Eubanks. <laughs> my my thing is like RPG games are fun, but they're not. It's so dumb. 
It's just not D and D because you yeah. can do whatever the fuck you want. Dungeons and there's and the social aspect. They're sitting yeah. around with your buddies, eating some food, rolling. He- here in the dice roll. Yeah, dude. Don't want to use the app to roll yeah. dice. The I want to roll the dice. dice. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, and what's funny is, you know, I feel like people make fun of people who play D and D. They're like, oh, you don't have any friends. Well, coincidentally, I need friends to play D and D. So uh, go several. fuck yourself. Yeah, a few <laughs> yeah, that are need, committed. Yeah, you need at least three friends who like do like the DM has to do homework pretty much every week. You know, like the way that I do it, you have to have like some loose story. And then I just kind of let whatever happens, happens. And then I try and, you know, kind of DM on the on the fly, mm-hmm. which I feel like is a lot of fun. I've been trying to get Josh interested, but he just, the hook ain't sinking. I but, like playing, but hearing you guys talk about it, I, in my mind I was thinking, you guys got laid? How'd you guys get laid? Oh, dude. Do I get laid? <laughs> yeah. I'm joking. Come what, on, Josh. What's funny is, like, I, I, I understand why you feel like that i guess but like i like the yeah. i like the because to me what i like about it it's very improvisational it's like improvisational acting and i really enjoy that part that's of what's it. fun yeah like not to dress up i've never right. i've never done that <laughs> me either yet but like show up in like a wizard's room yeah the, the green wizard yeah yeah uh, I, I i have a cloak but that's only because I go to Renaissance Fair too because I'm a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of getting laid, uh, but no, like getting into your character, man. Yeah. Like that's fun to me. Like yeah. getting into the character, it's like acting. Yeah, it, it is, is acting. It's yeah. a bit of acting. It's a bit of math. It's problem solving. It's mm-hmm. a social element. Like we said before, it should be a college course. D and D one hundred and one would be. It would be full every semester. Mm-hmm. I you know, guarantee. You know what? Especially I've, right now. What I've thought too is like, it's. One of the beauties of D and D in a sort of like, um, social sort of setting, right? Is like if you are a really outgoing person, like really like extroverted, you can make a character that's like hella introverted, and you can like sort of see through the lens of someone who's an introverted person, and like understand kind of how they interact with like extroverted people for sure. Um, and vice versa, you know, it gives people who are introverted a an, an gateway or like a door to be extroverted because you're not yourself. It like, develops interpersonal skills too. That's yeah. the thing. Like, you know, when you go to college, your first day of class, they always do that dumb fucking thing. You have to stand up, introduce, name four things about yourself. The worst. Dude, yeah. Fuck that. Just play a game of all D&D. lies. Yeah. Yeah. All, all lies. All lies. <laughs> all lies. Yo, I'm really cool. I got a cool car. My get family laid all doesn't the time. suck dick. I get laid uh, every day. Yeah. Listen, like, I crush puss 24-7. I yeah. can chug a beer in less than five seconds. Yeah. Uh, buy did a cap go. Yeah. Ugh. No. It's but gross. that but D D does all that. Like yeah. you can you actually communicate yeah. with one another and you don't have to be yourself. You yeah. can be somebody else. Or you can be an extension of yourself. Yeah. Exactly. I played both kinds of characters. I played a character that's like me, just mm-hmm buffed a little bit yeah and then i played the opposite of me yeah you know you can play a whole other kind of character so it's... if if i if i were a D character yeah i'm like based on my real life yeah what would i be what would you be well see <clears throat> i feel like i'd still be human race wise okay i like all the other races but i've i feel like it's probably I like a real still, human <laughs> i would still want to be like me just better i don't know i to me i've always kind of wanted to like i feel like the beguiler is something that i would want to be because they're like a cross between like a rogue and like somebody who can cast magic and like sort of like bend like sort of reality to an airbender no, nothing like that. No, like they do like, you know, like illusion magic and, you know, they get their way and they kind of, you know, just like can control the battlefield, but. But also a little roguish, a little sneaky. Mostly roguish. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's fucking rogues to me. I mean, that's what I've been playing since I was 12, like in D and D in world of Warcraft and like any RPG game, I'm always the rogue. They're I, always so much fun. I always liked the rogue. But I never was the rogue. Yeah. If I were a character in D and D, I think I would be a half elf because I still want to be a little human. Yeah. But I don't know. Elf, elf is a little alluring to me. Yeah. And I think I would be a druid. 
Dude, roots are sick. Because I love nature. Yeah. I love animals. I, I love that stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, love, I love like, I guess science isn't so much, but you know, I just love the way the world works. Right. And to be able to manipulate that to your liking would be yeah. like amazing. Yeah. I mean. I love bush. <clears throat> <laughs> not armpit bush though no. dude yeah. elves elves don't have pubes no they yeah, don't. they're like blue or turquoise depends google it yeah. <laughs> what, about, what, what would josh be though the skeptic well see that. i wanted to ask the skeptic. i wanted to ask but josh doesn't know all the classes and races i know yeah. there's i know there's some there's, okay what are, let's what? do it man like what uh, there's Elves, there's huh. rogues. There's <laughs> wow, the two things we've mentioned. Hold on, okay. there's humans. Well, hold on. Three things we mentioned. Rogues, there's... rogues. You know that rogues, like rogue, is like a thing. Right? I know. You know that it's not a race. I of don't thing. know. <laughs> then find school me D and D nerds. <laughs> it's a class, bro. Josh, school me virgins. Josh is drying up over here. Yeah, dude. Okay, what so, you got? Okay, so you got humans. Yeah, yeah. Human centipede. That's what you'd be, all right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're done. The here. middle. <laughs> you'd be the middle human centipede. I, so there's humans, there's mm-hmm, elves, mm-hmm. there's dwarves. Mm-hmm. There are... Little people, please. Little... Oh, Continue. <laughs> dwarves. Um, there's like tieflings, which are like half uh, human, half demon. They look hella sick. Okay. Yeah. Um, Orc. Mean, orcs. Half orcs. There's little goblin dudes. Mm-hmm. There's hobgoblins. Which are like pumpkin bombs? Fuck yeah! <laughs> Hobgoblins are pretty cool. Um, I mean, there's so many. I don't know. I've always been a cleric of some sort. Maybe okay, that's okay. still a class. That's not human, that's still not okay. a race. Human cleric. Human, human cleric. cleric. We're I, human. I was gonna say We're pudding cleric. I was gonna say uh, I was gonna say human. Yeah. Perhaps an elf. Yeah. Just based mm-hmm. on body type. Yeah. Uh, skin, I said, sluggish I think, elf. <laughs> I'd say he's more elfy. Like a yeah yeah. And then, as far as class go, I mean, I, I could I could see paladin. What's a paladin? Uh, a like, holy warrior. Yeah, they're like mm. a cleric. that's like righteous. Love they're the like Lord. A cleric. Well, you don't have to. There's multiple races, Josh. God, you don't even know what you're talking about. Multiple, multiple yeah, gods, don't. dude. You're right. No, but uh, the 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 paladins are like a mix between a cleric and a, a fighter. They're just like okay. badass. Fighters. I could do that. Yeah, I'd be into that. Yeah, you're, you're on the good side. Cool. Yeah. So, anyways, we're gonna keep an eye out for the podcast. Yeah, we will blast it yes. as soon as it gets posted. Yeah, we will shoot it out to the world, into the ether, and and hopefully both people of will those check things it out. are very sexual. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's also blasting and shooting. Um, I'm also hosting a um, Dungeons and Dragons slash fantasy art show at the Speakeasy on Halloween. Really, I yep. had not known of this previously. Yep. Yeah, I just got the date just got nailed down last weekend. Let me guess. October 31st. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's on a Tuesday. Cool. Fucking the. Uh, I'll show up in my best Dr. Evil costume. <laughs> you didn't listen. Well, it, it posted today, so maybe you didn't okay. listen to it. But um, yeah, there's going to be like a bunch of art there. We're going to have like a costume contest. I'm going to have cakewalk uh, tables. No. <laughs> oh, there better be a fucking cakewalk. <laughs> Dylan, will you, will you try to add a cakewalk? What is a cakewalk? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, exactly. I'll tell you later. Okay. Oh, no. Hold on. I'm going to talk to the speakeasy guys about making it like a fall festival in the speakeasy. A bobbin for apples. One of those little duck pond things. Oh, dude. Yeah. Cakewalk. A cakewalk. Okay. Haunted house. Yeah, that's that's pushing it. That's yeah. a little too much work. Yeah, I can fill work. a bucket with water and throw some apples yeah, in it. That's easy. fine. Have a little giveaway. To the shitty have those shitty candies just everywhere around the but bar. But those little like finger monsters. Do you yep. remember those? Oh, yeah, dude. those yep. were dope. Just to put those up my butt. We're gonna have <laughs> we're gonna have tables though for people to play Dungeons and Dragons. Sweet, too. Like, dope. That'd be rad. Yeah. Dope. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll roll up with my new character. I'm rolling up. It'd be soup's dead. <laughs> be super cool. Well, cool, man. Thank you, Dylan, so much for coming by. Yeah, yeah. and we'll see you Good, next man. week. Thanks. Yeah, dude. But wait. There's more. Hang on to your seat, baby, because this one's a screamer. Okay, I know we were going to end the episode, but we got to sitting on the back porch and talking a little bit. And I was like, let's just come back in here and make a quick addendum to the show because I believe this is worth sharing on the show right now. Yeah. Okay. So when I was young, I was like 14, 13, 14. Mm -hmm. And my best friend, um, I don't, can't, I shouldn't use, make a name up. His name is, uh, Beelzebub. Beelzebub. <laughs> Bill. Bill. For right. short. Uh, Bill Elzebub. <laughs> yeah, Bill <laughs> Elzebub. So <clears throat> we we would hang out uh in his like haunted fucking house. Like, no shit. If you don't believe in ghosts, just go to the next 
episode <clears throat> or Satan. Uh, but anyway, so we would we would hang out at his house, but every now and then we'd go to his uh, dad's house, and we would go over there and watch Faces of Death, which is ridiculous because I was thirteen. As one does, that's the yeah, perfect time do. to watch Faces of well, Death. Yeah, when though. you're thirteen, when you're hanging out with a Satanist dad. Yeah, yeah, and that you know what's funny is that was like one of the first things I found out about him. Like, hey, here's my dad. He's six five, uh, four feet wide, and loves Satan. Like, oh shit, why are we over here? Like, wow. So we would watch <clears throat> Faces of Death, and then those those Charles Manson meditation videos were like his face on the screen it'd be like tie-dye sort of colors and stuff like that and like weird chants and then like murder would pop on the screen and like kill and like all this shit no no no. those aren't meditation videos that's fucking brainwash <clears throat> videos yeah. <laughs> but, yeah 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 but they're called meditation videos when you said brainwash videos or meditation videos out there sorry brainwash <laughs> frankie sharp sharp record <laughs> uh my mind went to it's it's Charles Manson recording his own meditation video. It's him going, all right, what you got to do is you got to get, you got to get, gotta, yeah. well, you don't sit still. You can't sit still. Yeah. Okay. That's you where they'll get you. sit still. You never no, sit so still. So it was just like an image of his face yeah, and it with was like, like psychedelic shit yeah. going on. And then it was just like murder. And you're like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, that's did indoctrination, I, my friend. Yeah, and it's like, did I, did that really say mur- kill? And it's just like, what the fuck? And then it would say government and like, mm. but who... Who in their right mind would put this on and watch it? Like, it'd be cool to have on the shelf. Like, look, I found this old view. Uh-huh. But, like, who watches these? Okay. What grown adult allows children to watch that? <laughs> oh, I'm going to d- teach these dude, boys to be murderers. Uh, I'm going to teach them how to be fucking righteous, dude. Like, it was like, dude, it wasn't one of those things where, like, we sat down and watched it. No, 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 no. Remember when you would, like, you'd hang out with your friends? You're like, oh, we're going to, you know, we'll put a, we'll put a movie on tv but we're gonna hang out you know yeah yeah. it was like that it was like the background video was a charles so like every few seconds like did that just say fucking kill over there <clears throat> yeah yeah <clears throat> and then we would go into his room his guitar room the dad's which, guitar the bill, dad's bill guitar, senior bill senior's okay. <laughs> guitar room which was just naked chicks <laughs> everywhere and this is a married man Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay. The whole yeah. time I thought it was like a like a cleaver household. Except like, my dad's like way into Satan. Satan's dad <laughs> yeah. with his titty room. No, it was like he had <clears throat> like you, when you see this guy, you can I, like I'm sure he at least beat the fuck out of somebody several times. So you know? you're 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 treading around. He probably murdered somebody. Yeah. Okay. Allegedly. And, and I'll I'll get to that. Okay, just a second, because the guitar room, naked chicks, and like seven Schecters and Dimebag Daryl signature guitars. That's all that was in there. Fuck and yeah, we were just like, no, 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 just like, wheelie, 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 wow. Like, Did he let you turn it up nice and loud? Oh, dude, you don't play soft in the in the in the jam room. Dude. You gotta crank a crank. You see these yeah. titties on the wall? I yeah. want these titties to shake. Yeah, <laughs> it was like, and like. I remember one time he was like, man, this guy's really good at guitar. And I was just like so stoked, but thinking on, back on it, I'm like, you like, why did you care so much that this satanic crazy person thought that you were so good at guitar? Anyway, so what the so story- I'm just picturing Carl from Aqua Teen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <sighs> okay. That's what I was going to say. When you say six feet tall and four feet wide, was he a fat man? No. So he was just a, a wall. Stack. He was okay. like, okay. <clears throat> was he jacked? <clears throat> Dude, he had okay, the fucking the t- <laughs> remember the, the body that I was talking about earlier with the big arms yeah, and yeah. kind of the beer gut. Yeah, that's what he had. Okay, but he was six foot five, so it was just like he had a beer gut, but it was like the keganator, dude. It was like okay. fucking, it was like a rock, yeah. you know, mm. the dad belly. <clears throat> yeah, and then his haircut sh- <laughs> shaved on the sides slicked back into a fucking braid that touched his ass now how how wide of a strip we Dude, talking we're talking like three to four inches did max he, hold on God. was hold this guy on. A, is this really the devil Dude, Dude. hold on did he, he had like satan tattoos on his calves and shit did he have martial arts equipment he no. seems like kind of he would do roundhouse kick those like dummy guys <laughs> he had one of those dummies he had a workout room he had a guitar room throwing stars yeah yeah of course and he had like katanas Okay. But, but, so he had a chair, right? Mm-hmm. He had a chair in the corner. It was like a was lazy- it a wicker? It was a wicker chair. <laughs> it was a wicker chair. No, no, it was a, it was a lazy boy. A wicken chair. With, Ooh. with a fucking, 
machete strapped to the side. Strapped to it. Gotta be prepared, dude. And I, I saw one time and I was like, what is that for? And then he was just like, you want to see what it's for? And I was like, yeah. <clears throat> so he sits back in it. And he reclines it out. I'm like, all right, some comfy time. And then he just like slams the lever down and grabs the knife and gets out of the chair in like one fluid motion. Mm -hmm. And he's just like, I can kill anyone who's in front of me from right here. Just relax to kill. And I was just like, <laughs> what the fuck? Album title, <laughs> relax to kill. <laughs> and then he had a gun safe of just glocks with laser sights on them. Like, it so was this, nuts. This is pre-Doomsday Prepper. This is like... This is just... I love Satan prep, dude. Okay. <laughs> this is like, if someone comes into my house, they're going out in a body bag. Bill Sr. sounds like either the most awesome or <laughs> the most terrifying man I've once ever you, heard once of. Once you get to know him, at first when you see him, terrifying. I was just like... Oh, and then, like, I went over there, like, two or three times. Like, I went over there multiple times. And he was cool. Mm -hmm. To a degree. Okay? Second time I went over there, um, we took tequila shots. <clears throat> How old were you? 13? Like 13. Okay. 13, 14. And he was like, oh, dude, guys, I got some coupons for some pizza. Do you guys want some pizza? And I'm like, well, fuck yeah. I mean, oh, what, what goes better with faces of death than a double pepperoni cheese pizza. And some tequila. Was he on yeah. the phone? Uh, Domino's. Yeah, can you assemble the uh, pepperonis to where it makes a kind of a star in the middle of the pizza? <laughs> yeah. Kind of want a pentagram pizza. It cut it five ways. Well, <laughs> the phone conversation is where the story takes a turn. Oh, okay. So he's on the on the phone with this guy. And then uh, he's like, yeah, I want this, 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 blah, blah, blah. I've got all these coupons. And the guy's like... I guess says something about how they can't take the coupons. <clears throat> and he's just like, why can't you take the fucking coupons? I've got them right here. And there's like no expiration date, blah, blah, blah. Gets fucking pissed. And then the guy's like, you know, I'll be there in 45 minutes. He's like, all right, I'll see you in 45 minutes. <laughs> okay. And I will fight you. So front Machete door. Out. Front door's. We'll say here. Sorry for the listeners can't see this. So the front door is in front of you. In front of me. We'll just, yeah, I'm standing in front of the door. The front door is here. Then there's a love seat right beside it. And that's where I'm sitting. So 45 minutes rolls around. <clears throat> we hear knock on the door. Hey, pause the Manson pizza guys yeah. here. And just blare it. <laughs> Freak him out. Bill Sr. walks over to his lazy boy. Grabs a sawed-off shotgun with a strap on it, with shells, loads the shotgun up, and then looks over at Bill, <clears throat> and he's like, all right, Bill, on the count of five, I want you to open the front door. And I'm sitting fucking three feet away from this you're, door. You're a bird shot away you, from the your, front door. Did your mind go, he's going to kill this delivery guy? 100% <laughs> over pizza. Yeah, so fast. I was like, I'm going to watch a dude. Die. Fucking die. So it goes, five, four, three, two, one. Door opens up at the same time. He tosses the shotgun right beside me. Like a loaded, sawed-off shotgun goes, whoop, and just lands beside me. Loaded. Loaded bullets. <laughs> loaded bullets. There are, it is alive, Shells. dude. Yeah. Shells. That could have just, if it landed wrong, say it landed wrong. You, yeah, you wouldn't be here. Go from dead, shitty pizza guy who doesn't deserve to die. You got a shit job. To 13-year-old getting his fucking face blasted off. A drunk 13-year-old. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, he just And you know it. you're going to hell at this point. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, you're, you're in Satan's house. You're in the devil's house. house. Dead. I'm in the literally, literally I'm in the yeah. devil yeah. den. No, 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 no. It was like, what the fuck? It, it, I went back to his house, too. After that, I went back to his house where, like, Bill didn't tell me that his dad had developed, like, multiple personality syndrome Fuck. or whatever it's called. I'm sorry for anyone, you know, I'm sorry, I don't know what that's called. But you know what I call it? I, I take my finger and I go like this and I go, cuckoo, <laughs> cuckoo. So I'm sitting in the living room and, uh, um, Bill is sitting in the living room in his, like, death chair. And he's like, James! James! Hey! And I was like, who the fuck? Who the fuck is James? And and then he, he responds, yeah, what's up? And he's like, 
hey, we got to make a list for groceries we need because we got to go to the grocery store in like 10 or 15 minutes. And I look over at Bill and I'm like, hey, man, what the fuck is your dad talking about? He's like, oh, yeah. um, Yeah, he's got split personalities now. And I was like, I almost watched your dad blow a fucking pizza dude in half. And you didn't tell me like, hey, my dad. No, no, no. My dad's six foot five. He's four feet wide. He loves Satan. Also, he has multiple personality disorder. Also, he probably has weapons all around the house. He might shoot somebody with. Yeah. And a bitch and braid. Yeah. And a bitch and braid. What kind of car did he drive? Uh, It was a. If you say anything other than Camaro, <clears throat> I'm going to be really mad. No, it's a it was a Jeep Grand Cherokee oh. that the seat, the driver's seat had to be broken two yep. different ways so that he could fit into it because mm. he was so and Such he wasn't a, fat he was just so big a Stat. big dude yeah, yeah. big dude i mean you got to fit all those souls of the damn yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 and it was just like i was freaking out and that's the night that i'm i'm like laying on the couch about to go, about to, go to sleep and he was like you believe in god and at the time i was like yeah he was just like why and i was like you know i mean like god's cool you know, we'll go to heaven when I die or whatever. He's like, no, you won't. There's no heaven. There's no God. And I was like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> dude. And he was just like, I was like, but yeah, but you believe in Satan, right? <clears throat> if there's like no God, there's no Satan either. He was like, no, I don't believe that there's a Satan either. I'm, And I was like, but you're Satanist. And he was like, yeah, but there's two different kinds. And he was like, I believe that I'm my own God. And... You know, this, that, and the other. So yeah, I, I got a, I got like a Satan talk in the Satan's den that night. Schooled on Satan in yeah. the schoolhouse School, itself. Schooled yeah. on Satan's couch. Yeah, dude. Just. <laughs> it was nuts, dude. It was the craziest thing. And like, I, you know, I went back several times. He, <clears throat> he just passed away that now, though. He's mm. like, he, uh. Roasting in hell. He's roasting <laughs> away yeah, in I, hell. I mean, like. The way he died is fucking nuts, too. Like, I hope my friend doesn't listen wait, to wait. this. Was he delivering pizzas and got shot in the face with a shotgun? No, a huge chasm opened up and just devoured him whole. Um, Don't speak ill of the dead. Sorry. He either shot himself with mm. the shotgun or the police think someone broke into his house and shot him in the face with a shotgun. God. Maybe it was yeah. Charles, his other guy. Oof. I don't... I. That's the thing is, I don't... We, don't we don't know yeah it's a nuts. weird that's a weird story but this house was haunted too or is this another one no that's the, that's the <laughs> thing this house isn't haunted my bill's original house that he lived in was haunted the mm. one that i was at every wait, wait, weekend did, did his dad live in that house no he had his own house see i think something was this happen. bill's mom's house this was bill's mother-in-law's house. okay <clears throat> so my friend bill well okay this is bill's Step Gran grandma's house i'm sorry okay. his grandparents house i went over there every weekend we were like fucking best friends right and we would do stupid shit all the time you know like he had a four-wheeler because they had more money and uh we were like, having a three-wheeler no, <laughs> than me uh, i only got a bicycle yeah, I only had bi no engines uh but we would like Two you know wheels. like uh that's racist <laughs> we would like like tie a rope to the front of a wheelbarrow that didn't have wheels anymore and i would get in the back of it like a sled yeah like a sled of idiocy so i, <laughs> I would sit I would we're coming sit up with so this, many great titles this today. sled and then my friend would be like oh, are you ready I'm like, yeah dude so he'd fucking gun it on this four-wheeler and we built ramps out of like wood and dirt and he would just like gun it beside these ramps and i would like push myself onto this dirt ramp and just fucking 100 percent safe yeah yeah 100 percent. we yeah. take turns doing that so cool so that was what we would do during the day at night weird shit happened well the freaks come out at night yeah. everyone knows that Every, everybody, everybody. <laughs> and so his great grandmother died in the back room cool right and so there's a bathroom in the middle of the in the middle of the hallway and i knew from like day one that there was some shit a foot in this bitch so like i would you know go to the bathroom at like midnight walk out of the bathroom and it feels like someone's just like right behind you mm -hmm. and it just always felt like that like someone always was watching you 100 percent of the time when you were in that room so <clears throat> one day 
we were like, let's play Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 on the on the PC. It's awesome. We used to, used to do it all the time. He was like, well, it's probably in a box in grandma's old room. <clears throat> you just got to go find it. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll be right back. So I'm like in that room and there's a bunch of boxes and I'm like flipping through you know, like papers and like all this shit. And there's documents. A, yeah. There's a, like a, yeah. Dildos, grandma's dildos. Just dicks everywhere <laughs> in this box. And grandma's so, dong no, collection. Yeah. That's what it says. That's what it says in a Sharpie yeah. on the outside. <laughs> Granny's dong <laughs> Granny's dongs. <laughs> so like there was like a computer mouse inside of there. So I took it out and just, meh, put it on top of a box. I'm flipping through. And then the computer mouse flips over and I'm like, what the fuck? And so I start talking like audibly to nothing. I'm like, hey, I know you don't want me in here and I'm really sorry, but I'm just looking for this game and I'll be out here in a second, which in hindsight, that's a ridiculous conversation. If you think mm -hmm. there is a ghost in the room, get the fuck out of that yeah. room. You're yeah, reasoning like, with the ghost. Yeah. It's yeah. like, hey, bro, like you've been dead for a minute. We got games now yeah, that are hella tight. <laughs> like, let me chill, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> so I keep flipping through and then the computer mouse flies about four feet and hits the door. And I was like, all right, I'm out. Fuck you. You're dick. And just like run the fuck out of the room. And I tell my friend what happens. And he's like, yeah, man, that kind of shit happens. This Bill Jr. is a dickhead. He's, he doesn't like to disclose a no, lot of no, information. No, no. I knew that that kind of stuff. Happened. Oh, OK. Well, oh, then oh, you know what? No longer. No, 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 no. I think Bill Jr. might be a conduit to evil. Yeah. Maybe because he used to live in that room. Yeah. Like he slept in that room when he was little and he used to, he had to move rooms because he saw fucking demons at the end of his bed all the time. Okay. So that was, that was one thing that happened. Another thing, he and I both like, I played, I, I got a guitar when I was 10. He got one when he was 12 and we would both like learn how to play guitar and stuff like that. But he was like way more into like Dimebag Daryl and yeah, shit because of his training wheels dad. for that jam room. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he had this bass guitar that was like it was like an SG bass, but it had you know like that um, like the metal design that has like the <clears throat> diamonds on it. Tread plate yeah, is tread what plate. it's called. Yeah, yeah. So it had a tread plate pick guard, <sighs> and so I'm just like. Just playing bass, narrow, narrow, narrow. and so I'm. Saying, That's how bass sound. That's yeah. what bass sound. <laughs> narrow, 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 like that. Uh, so, um, his his door is open, so I can see into the hallway. And so he's got a little sister, and uh, there's like kids that run around the house all the time. So I'm playing bass, and he's like talking to me, and I'm like, you know, like when you're like looking in a direction, but you're not really looking. Mm -hmm. That's where I was looking in the hallway, and I see this like little girl just run down the hallway into that room and i saw a plane base and i'm like what the fuck i'm like trying to reason in my head and i was and he was like dude what's up what's up <clears throat> and i was like hey are, is your sister here he's like no it's like are any of the kids here he's like no why and i was like oh because a little girl just ran down your fucking hallway <clears throat> into you know grandma's room he was like, oh, what the fuck? So we walk in there and there's nothing, obviously, because it's a fucking ghost and ghosts are real. Fuck you. And so <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck? It was crazy. Another time, we both walk out in the hallway to um, go into their big ass game room where the pool table and shit is. Mm -hmm. And there are three like dudes standing in the hallway and they've got like old timey suits on thought you're gonna say sombreros no. <laughs> Three they do have hats on like okay boy the ghost of a shitty shit. movie <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it was all right yeah and so I never saw it doesn't like, hold up you like walked outside like men in black kind of thing no no like we're talking like 1950s yeah like men in black like a like suits they're they're agents right but they're not they weren't like suit suits they were like trench coat nice shirts okay, okay. and like broiler caps on and shit Okay. And then they turn around and walked away. And we were like, okay, scary as fuck. Still went and played pool. There was dolls and shit in the house that their heads and eyes always fucking moved and shit. And, yeah. and then this girl, his cousin, Tony Lynn, she stayed the night over there once. We'd all stay the night to, together <clears throat> a bunch. She stayed the night and slept in, in a chair and she was like awake. She was waking up, but she felt like someone was looking at her. And she opens up her eyes, and it's her dead great grandma's face in her face. 
freaks her out so much that she falls back out of this recliner and just like rolls back. You know, it's like shit like that happened all the time to the point where his parents believes every fucking thing that we were talking about. They were like, we should get somebody out here. Mm -hmm. They called ghost hunters to go to that house, dude. Re- like the like the, the show like no, the, like no, the bro no, no, okay. not like pre show like, this is pre show yeah. okay yeah. yeah obviously this is many years ago and um they went there turned the lights out and they did the whole nine they interviewed us and stuff like that and this is bullshit I don't believe this at all now but um I told this dude I was like yeah like these are the entities that I see I see this little girl in a white dress. And as I'm talking to him about it, he's like looking through me, like past me. And I was just like, hey, dude, you know, and he was like, I've like, I see the little girl you're talking about dancing behind you. Like she's in the living room right now, like dancing and stuff like that. And like at the time, it freaked me out now. OK, dude, if you would have told me that before I told you this, it'd be more yeah, viable, pretty right. convenient. But <clears throat> a couple of weeks go by. And they show up with the fucking, like, uh, audio from the house, you know. And um, let me guess, a lot of <laughs> and like the skeleton bones, yeah. chains, xylophone, yeah. the xylophone bones. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the scariest thing I've ever heard Theron. in my life was one of the things that they got. What was it? They walk into the grandma's room and like quote unquote shh the red bloods are coming like i fucking freaked out like you heard like this dude's voice shush all the other ghost homies and say that the red bloods are coming like that's creepy dude it was nuts that's fucking and creepy. then you heard a little girl crying like the whole fucking time it was nuts dude it was crazy so an actual like legit haunted house yeah did they it, did they live there for much longer after that? They still live there. I want to go back. So bad. Mm-mm. Go Good. back and then yeah. come back here get and report back. Like, I think your friend Bill Jr., I truly, I get this like, it's all for you, Damien. It's all for you. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, we we don't really talk anymore. Mm-hmm. We don't even talk anymore about ghosts. Because your dad is a Satanist, <laughs> but he's dead. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> through a shock on my way <laughs> but yeah i mean like that was i mean good things happen in the house but like a bunch of weird shit yeah. always happened you know it was like will you do me a favor will you google men in black real like real men in black? have you heard of like about the actual men in black boy yeah no i know what you're talking so about. was that what you saw no okay no this was like like we did research and in the 50s, a guy, like, then we, we were thinking that it's probably this guy because we saw pictures of the dude. He was like big mustache, like always wore like kind of dressy clothes because mm-hmm. it's the 50s and you're always going to a meeting. Mm-hmm. Well, he he got axed by his wife. Let go? Huh? No, Joking. like. <laughs> divorced. His, divorced. Yes. Like, his, like his head got let go. She sprayed him with axe body spray. <laughs> And we're, she asked him something. Yeah, and, and we're thinking that that could be him because it was like. But there right, was three right of them. Was he to multiple man? I'm sure you have friends, you know. That, or maybe he's on a parallel plane and it's showing you three reflections of one being. Yeah, I'm just picturing a little Dylan Eubanks walking down the hall and stumbling upon a ghost cherry pop and daddy's video shoot <laughs> in the house. But vaping? I can't. I can't not picture a zoot suit. Yeah, dude, it was. It was nuts, man. That that house was crazy. Like, it was. Did just, you like staying there? Like, did you like being there? I did was it? it? I, I stayed every weekend. I you stayed the night every weekend, and you never were bothered by what you saw. Like, I, you weren't like, I'm not going to go back there. I've had enough ghosts for my life. No, it was just like, all right, I know. Uh, don't go in that room after the sun goes out or when the sun's up. When I take him, <laughs> the piss, sun goes out <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah, is that yeah, like don't, ever? Don't go in that room because it's. Like shit's gonna go down. I'm sleeping with the lights off. Yeah. So right. it's, like, it's like Castlevania. Mm-hmm. Once you, if you're in the daytime, it's fine. But when the uh, when the moon comes out, yeah. it gets creepy. Yeah. That's and my then, creepy and voice. And then when you take a piss, you run out of the bathroom. Like that's yeah. that's what you do. Like that's what I did from then on out. Like I did it all the time. 
Because it was just like it was nuts. And, gotta, and because the ghosts have a piss fetish. Yeah, that's how you got to survive in that game. <laughs> get get yeah. out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> you just gotta fucking go. Dude, it was it was weird. You know, and just always hearing weird shit. But um, they still live there. Yeah, that's incredible. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, dude, awesome story. Yeah, thanks again for coming by, man. Yeah, no sweat. bye. <laughs>